Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and in this video, I want to give you some brief update on what might be one of the best, if not one of the highlights for Blender 4.3, if it gets done uh, in time for the next uh, for the next release, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, will be on late November. Uh, on a recent post in the Blender developers uh, blog, we have an overview of what might be an, a new feature, a new set of features related to assets in the way we manage assets. Before I dive into the article and explain exactly how it will benefit us uh, on, the, on the topic of using Blender as a design tool, let me just give you a quick overview of how the asset browser currently works. If that's your first time or if you are new to Blender, uh, we have here, uh, I have here on my screen, the asset browser editor. This is the place where I can see libraries of assets. Uh, how to include those uh, assets here? Well, we uh, you have to... Uh, you need a Blender file with uh, assets inside. You can turn any data, any object, any material, any uh, mostly uh, uh, almost anything inside a Blender file in an asset. You can do that by right-clicking on that object and choosing mark as, mark as asset. I can do that for materials. I can do that for... Let me select here a material. I can right click and set this, that as an asset. You can also set collections. You save the Blender file with uh, assets, with objects marked as assets, and you will place them inside a folder. Then you have to go into the edit, preferences, file paths and you will add that folder uh, to make Blender read uh, from that location all of the Blender files with assets uh, with a uh, data market as an asset. This is a folder that I have on my computer on my local network where I have some of my uh, previous, uh, previously uh, used uh, Blender files with assets that I think I will be reusing them in the future. And I call this uh, assets DB for assets database and I'm selecting this here. To use those assets, you can grab here materials, you can use objects, you can use collections uh, for people working with animation, you can, uh, get, you can uh, use uh, actions. How to apply those, access, uh, those uh, asset, uh, assets? It's incredibly easy, you just click and drag to an object, uh, to apply a material and you can click and drag any 3D model to include it on your current project. Now, what types of changes uh, are we expecting and problems that we have here that this new development or this new set of features will uh, try to solve? Let me bring back the article. And one of the problems that many people, uh, many users uh, get when they are opening Blender for the first time is that uh, when they open it and go into the asset browser, it will be probably empty because you have to create a Blender file, you have to mark them as assets. And for someone that is new, uh, it's using Blender for the first time, well, you probably don't have anything. So you have to do some work to populate, to add some resources here into the asset library. This is the first thing that they will try to solve with something called Online Essentials. This will create a remote library, a remote asset library. This is how they are calling it. And it will have a predefined set of materials, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, some models. Uh, with everything as Creative Commons zero. So uh, everything will be on the public domain. And this will be part of a new tab. They are calling it L uh, Asset Library, which will be next to the, to, uh, to the Get Extensions. If you open here the preferences, this will be a new tab here on the left.
and it will also require internet access uh, for uh, to uh, get those uh, new assets this will be great but the next update this will make a massive different uh, a massive difference because it, it it will introduce variants representation and versions let me explain you the problem that it will try to solve. Let me bring here again my objects. And for instance, let's say I have this, this chair here. And if I want to work in a design project, many furniture objects uh, will feature different types of uh, finishes, many uh, different types of materials. Uh, this one might come with uh, black leather. This one might come with a brown leather or velvet. Uh, in the current state of Blender, what I have to do here is I would need three versions of this chair, one with each one of the, uh, of the materials. In that case, I will need this chair here uh, with uh, black leather, with brown leather and velvet, three different assets. What they are trying to introduce is a set of variations for those assets. Let me bring back the article. Uh, these variations could include changes in color, changes in level of detail, which is great for animations in case you are reducing the polygon size of your, of your model based on the distance for the camera. They are explaining here with uh, some ex some examples with uh, Sintel, but it will be an incredible update and an incredible addition to the way Blender manages uh, assets because uh, for uh, design work, like I said, I could have just one version of this uh, chair on my assets and uh, that single object will be uh, I would be able to select different materials different uh, resolutions for this uh, for this model based on I guess some settings and variations that's not really uh, clear here how they would implement that into the interface but this is a great update if you want to know more if you want to uh, see how it will work uh, again, I will leave a link to this uh, article on the description, but this is just a brief update. There is no mention that it will come out with a Blender 4.3, but they are quite fast there at the Blender Institute and Blender Foundation to, in to introduce, uh, to implement those uh, changes. So I hope it got done by the time Blender 4.3 goes uh, comes out. I hope you like the content. And if you think it might help other people, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with more Blender news and uh, future updates uh, to the software. See you next time. Bye.